What up, Curious Explorers? We are here in this amazing studio with my new friend, Sparkle. Hey. How are you? I'm great, how about you? I am doing absolutely amazing because awesome. I get to be back in one of my favorite places, the recording studio. It's yeah. pretty, and it's one of your favorite places too, Oh right? yeah, this is where all the magic happens. Yes, <laughs> yes, magic definitely happens in here, but science also happens here as well. And you have an incredible story about how you got into music. Can you tell us a little bit about how you ended up doing work in an amazing place like a recording studio? When I was younger, I grew up doing beauty pageants and dance competitions, but I feel like my love for music really started when I was eight, nine years old, and my oh, wow. uncle, he actually does music, so he pulled me up on stage, me and my cousins. We got up <laughs> on stage with him, and we were dancing, and I just saw the way that he was interacting with the crowd, and how excited the crowd was, and how yeah. engaged they were, and they were just like staring at him, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be able do to do this too. <laughs> so after that, I feel like that's when I really wanted to start a career in music. That's amazing. I love that story. Thank you know, you. it's passion, dedication, and then also seeing other people, especially in your family that are doing work as well. It's inspiring. Sure. Absolutely. That's really cool. Yeah. So we have so much amazing equipment in this space right now. And you mm -hmm. do so many things. Obviously, you're a vocalist, I beautiful am. voice, I can Thank tell. You. Uh, you DJ, you I produce. Do. I don't know. What what don't you do in the recording studio? I wish I could answer that question, <laughs> but I really don't even know either. I do it all. <laughs> so recording and doing music is very technical, right? There's yes. scientific elements of it, but it's also very creative. This is a fun art. Could you talk to a little bit about your creative process? So not only doing music as far as recording, but even just creatively developing music and just kind of the elements of sound that go into your creative process. Yeah, for sure. I feel like that is really my specialty. I love yeah. to produce and create music because I am an artist. But um, I think my creative process, of course, it all starts with making a beat. So I'll <laughs> go into my favorite doll, which is Ableton. Okay. Um, and I go into there and I start usually with drums. I feel like everything, you need uh, a good little, drum. little, yeah, you need a good little hit going okay. before you start adding some piano, some, I don't know, some synths, maybe some other stuff, just dabbling and everything. So I really start there, and then that's when I start my writing process. Once I have some solid chords going with a nice drum loop, then I start writing, 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 <laughs> and then I'll go into Pro Tools, which is the doll we have open right now, yes. and that's when I start recording my music. Amazing. So you mentioned really cool things like Ableton and Pro Tools. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what these programs are? For sure, yeah. So they're all different DAWs, and DAWs are Digital Audio workstations, D-A-W. your workstations. Yeah. Okay, I like so, that acronym. Stop. Okay, exactly. Okay. So in Ableton, that's what I prefer to produce in. And producing is when you're basically making the beat for yourself or another artist to sing on, to rap on, mm -hmm. to basically just put their little sauce and flavor on it. And it sounds like there are multiple steps of going through a recording oh, yeah. process, right? Absolutely. You have your engineers, you have your artists that are performing. Can you talk about all the other pieces that go into yeah, sure. doing music work as well? Absolutely. I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of different jobs for it. It's The list can go on and on and on and on. You really have to just hone in on one singular thing. I just do production and the songwriting and then I'll pass it on to a friend or a friend of a friend who knows how to do <laughs> other things and we'll just all kind of tie in and collaborate and I feel like that's the main process. We have Pro Tools open up right here, right? Yeah, sure do. Sh should we jump into a session? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. Let's do it. So right here is a blank session and I already pretty much set up the settings before I opened it up. Okay. And we have a track right here, but to start a new track, just in case we wanted some more, uh -huh. you go to the top right here and click track okay. and then click new and new then track. it'll ask you how many tracks you want to create, okay. what kind of tracks you want to create. And if you see, there's a whole bunch of places that these tracks can go. Uh -huh. There's routing folders, basic folders, and then it tells you all the different tracks that you can create. So when I record vocals in Pro Tools, mm -hmm. I usually make a few different tracks. So that way I have my lead vocal, the backing vocal, there's harmonies, ad libs. So that way we, we're able to stack them and put them together and then we clip it and put it all onto one track and then another track would be the beat. That's amazing, because in sound we have what we call as amplification, right? When Absolutely. you amplify sound, and that's kind of making the volume a little bit more intense. Yeah. And so you can do that by just layering multiple different vocals. And obviously when you're recording, you're not going to stay still in just one spot, staying solid like a rock. Uh -huh. You're going to be moving around, so sometimes sounds will dip out, and sometimes you'll get quieter on certain parts. So that's when it says inserts and sends, and you can put plugins there to make all the vocals sound the same volume. Ooh, plugins. Yeah. What are plugins? So plugins are basically little things that you would throw onto your track to amplify the vocals, as we were just saying. It could be for vocals, it could be for beats. I use a plugin um, by Decap, and I use it to make my drums louder, to make them really knock. 
But Ooh. for vocals, I don't mess with vocal plugins. I send that to my friend who's actually a mixing engineer and then she'll tweak it and add a little flavor to it with the vocals. The cool thing about these inputs is that not only can you input vocals, but you could also input instruments as well yes, too, right? You what can. type of instruments can you set tracks up for? You could set tracks for any instrument, literally. If you just plug it on in and you could use a guitar, you could use a piano. I know recording drums is a little bit different because that's tracking, so you'd have to hook up a mic and have an actual live drummer if you want live drums. Do you play the drums? I do. You do play yeah. the drums. What other instruments do you play? I play piano, guitar, harmonica, what? drums. What? Yeah, I play bass. No what else way. do I play? I play a bunch of little things too. Music is all about connections, right? We right. build unique connections to music. These vibrations pass through our bodies. Sure. Uh, we're in a recording studio like this and there's so much amazing equipment in here, speakers, microphones, all these unique elements. Mm -hmm. uh, what is kind of your favorite process when it comes to production? Is there an element a piece of that process that you enjoy the most? I like the trial and error. The trial That's and the error. best part of production. That you're a for true me. scientist. Absolutely. Science is all about trial and error. It right? definitely is.